Okay, then let me tell you about、um, what I think about MySpace. To on today's top news story, MySpace and the dangers for children. You know, I I actually discovered MySpace. Boy, yeah, I'm fucking addicted. In fact, the the past three weeks, I've spent more time on MySpace than I have living in existence. I don't know. For some reason, I like having this space that's mine on the internet. <laughs> I, I, I can. Post pictures of myself and my friends up there. I can write stuff that people might read. Maybe I'm gonna have a hundred. I'm gonna hit my hun my first hundred views. I'm like, I'm excited. I finally filled up my my top eight friends. Now I have to pick and choose. It's like, I have to be all political with it. By the time you're done, you've gone through seven people you don't even know. And and you're at this this beautiful girl, and she's like perfect for you. And like everything she says on her blog is like. Perfect, and her her sign is perfect, and she's just hot. And then and then you find out she's just an advertisement for a porno site.、And、you know that that kind of sucks. Like when I'm at a bar, I don't really talk to women because I'm too scared. And so I figured on MySpace I could not have to be scared because, you know, it's just the internet. So I go to start messaging them.、Um, But I can't because I'm afraid of rejection. I'm probably just gonna wait until a girl hits on me. That's not a porno ad. Maybe she'll fall in love with me. I'll, I'll get laid. Maybe, just once. You know, I, that's all I'm asking for. So,、um, so that's why I'm addicted to MySpace because there's a potential to possibly get laid sometime ten years down the road. I think it's feasible. I think I could do it. You, you think so? Yeah. Thanks.